I think I developed my interest in science because I was always an inquisitive kid. Spent a lot of time outdoors. I was very interested in nature and geology. I had an awful lot of great teachers in, um, in elementary school and high school who gave me an opportunity to explore my interests. And I found myself fascinated by the instruments we use to make measurements. We call those tools, so we're really a tool maker. So I've spent much of my life building mass spectrometers, ways of looking at molecules. I'm so pleased to see Rick getting this award because of his collegiality, his way of connecting with students and his colleagues. He knows how to cut right to the point and get something accomplished. And he has become, frankly, an advisor and a mentor to many people across this campus. The invention for which I'm probably best known is uh, the triple quadrupole mass spectrometer. A mass spectrometer is an instrument that measures the mass of compounds of molecules. Uh, we turn them into ions by putting a charge on them, and then we sort them out and weigh them. I spend a lot of time, my professor and I, talking about what we might do in this area of mass spectrometry and computerizing a mass spectrometer and using the quadrupole. And we were um, actually driving back from a conference at 3 o'clock in the morning. I was riding shotgun to keep our professor awake as we drove the group back to Michigan State University. And we came up with this crazy idea of putting three quadrupoles together in a row. So um, just before we got back to university, Professor Enke turned to me and said, you know, great idea if you want to do this, you can write a grant proposal. We were fortunate, the Office of Naval Research um, gave us funding, uh, about a couple thousand pounds of stainless steel and several hundred pounds of electronics and started to build this instrument. This is a tandem mass spectrometer, which allows you to take one stage of mass spectrometry, fragment those ions, and then measure the mass of the fragments. This triple quadrupole mass spectrometer is used today for neonatal screening, for newborn testing. So when a, a baby is born in the United States or in, in most of the developed world, after their first uh, meal, they'll have their heel pricked, blood spots will be put on a Guthrie card sent to a state laboratory someplace, and they'll use one of these instruments to screen for somewhere between 50 and 100 different um, inherited diseases. So last year, uh, 15 million babies around the world were tested with this instrument for those diseases, probably saving 10,000 of them from an early death. Agriculture is very important in Florida, and there's an awful lot of agricultural research and environmental research done this way. If we have an oil spill, you know, off in the Gulf, the tools we use to measure that and track it and so on are, again, uh, mass spectrometry. See here, we see our drift spectra. You see. One of the most inspiring things about Rick has nothing to do with science, has nothing to do with the University of Florida, and that is that he is a lifelong Boy Scout, and he's a Boy Scout leader. And uh, I think that that says everything you need to know about the kind of personality and commitment he has to young people. I've been a, um, a scout master for most of the last 45 years. Young people of different age than I work with at the university. Getting them in the outdoors and, and learning um, skills and about how to be a good citizen. Probably the biggest influence I would say these days are the hundred and some uh, PhD students who've come through my laboratory, who have come up with new ideas, challenged me at times, and helped keep me young and excited about science. <laughs>